card that he's uh that he decides to jump on for the most That's part. That's true. Yeah. Must be nice to be that good. But Dan and Demidas, no chumps. Obviously, Dan, a very, very strong um, Mario as well. Number six in Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. I think he is six this yeah. season. Six um, this season. But he's playing like number one. I, I just watched the tournament of his a little bit ago, that, uh, and he just completely ran through. That was on this account. That was a, a few ignitions ago. That's the Wednesday Weekly hosted on this Unrivaled Tournaments account. Yep. Um, He made a 6-1 run on JJ Rockets. That was just dominant. Yeah. Play. When and Dan so, is feeling himself, I mean, it, it, it could be a problem. Uh, he is a fantastic player, as is Demidas. Demidas is a kind of a one of those people who can pick up a character super fast. Yeah, he's Fox um, now. He started out as Captain Falcon player. Yep. Um, he spent a lot of time on Meta Knight, and then Meta Knight was passed, and he really hasn't been playing much Meta Knight. Um, and then he spent a lot of time with Mewtwo. Mewtwo, yep. not really a very great doubles character. Absolutely not. And now he's playing a lot of Fox. It looks like Fox Mario is going to be the team they're rocking here. Yep. You guys in Chicago, man, I love you guys to death, but you guys got to get a main. I know Tyroy was like going 1,200 characters at one time when Bayonetta got nerfed, and now Demidas is off the I've been playing characters. Yoshi the whole time and complaining about it, all right? All so right. just let, let me live my life. I know you're not complaining playing Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I my God. I digress here. Okay. Uh, it looks like they're trying to decide which color they're actually going to be here on this blue team. Absolutely. As Yoshi King flips through clouds, very, very colorful costumes. Yeah. The, the, he has the, the one costume where he looks the same. He has the other costume where he looks the same. Yep. He has the third costume where he looks the same. Yep. And then he has the edgier costume where he looks the same. Yep. So... We're going to get into it here. Cloud Mario, again, one of the very dominant teams in this doubles meta. Mm -hmm. Such strong confirms coming out here. Pretty much anything team with Cloud for the most part, but Mario and Villager seem to be the two characters that really do the most But damage. these two have won so many doubles tournaments together. And Mewtwo King, especially, like, particularly Mewtwo King, which is team with Mario. It's a team with Anti, team with Ally. He's able to put so much work in in doubles when he's teaming with a Mario. Like, oh. the confirms that come out from both these players are insane. Yeah, man. The follow-ups are just always there. I mean, it's a guy with the sword, and then somebody with that wonderful air maneuverability like Mario. I mean, what more can you ask for in doubles, you know? And we were saying, I think that uh, Fox is a little bit slept on in doubles, though. Oh, yeah. He definitely is. He has so many great ways to get in. He has so many equalizing kill options, like the, those spaced back airs. The uh, up air, like you can see Demise going for here on Ally. He was on a very high oh, percentage. Oh, my. It gets a double limit cross slash right there. It gets a two-for-one special. Demise is going to live, though. He was only at 71%. All the Marios are at high percent right now. The supporting cast of the Marios is pretty low. Yeah, and I think Ally, uh, he knows how to fight Fox. He knows how to fight Fox pretty good. So I, I, yeah, he does. Yeah. And there, he, great spacing on that forward smash. Caught Demise reaching a little bit with that dash attack. Turn around, pop him. It just always seems like when I watch Ally play, he's always playing like five steps ahead of the opponent. Like his, his reads are just, they're, they're phenomenal. I, I don't know where he buys his books from, I, <laughs> but I, I need to go wherever he's going. There's Dan with a quick read and an up smash of his own. Yeah. That's going to get the E2C team on the board here. Oh, oh my very. goodness, that was so good from Mewtwo King. Absolutely, man. The situational awareness is always present when Mewtwo King is on the stage, but we can't count the E2C boys out just yet. Chicago, one of the strongest regions in the Midwest. I know it's argued between Michigan and Chicago, so we'll have to see how they come alive here. If you put anybody on the E2C, uh, E2C team together in doubles, and they're going to do damage. Dan and Demise, two of the strongest doubles players in Chicago, but they're having a little bit of a hard time here. Down five stocks to three. Uh, Demise trying to get on the stage. A nice up tilt back against the Mewtwo King flying away. Give him a little bit of a breather. Oh, wow. But Mewtwo King is just right back. And, and now Mewtwo it is King. two stocks to four. Can we talk about how Mewtwo King still has three stocks? He hasn't taken 100% this game. Nope. Ally just being a dominant force. <laughs> has enough gameplay for two characters as he lets Mewtwo King just stand in the back and charge limit. Mewtwo I ain't mad at him. Mewtwo King's follow up game is so strong. He is really putting the pressure on Demidas there, but nice forward smash from Dan. That's going to get him on the board. That's Three right. stocks remain. Opening things up a little bit more here. Oh, wow. Demidas completely evading. Ally at all costs, but wow. The turnaround up smash right there from Ally. Taking out my man Demidas and putting Dan in a very, very unfortunate situation. No tech from Ally means he's going to get a forward smash to the face yeah. from his Mario brother. He said, how does it taste, my friend? <laughs> oh, Ally looking for a read. Doesn't find what he was looking for there. Up air back here, and now he's going to press on the smash the platform. Now, I believe the last time Dan played Mewtwo King Ally in doubles, I believe it was at Smash Splash 2. We out. Oh, are we oh, serious style. right now? Come on. Listen, come on, guys. Not like this. Game. <laughs> 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 and Mewtwo King Ally being very much Mewtwo King and Ally here on stream today. <laughs>
Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, and I like doing this trademark head nod. Like, what the heck? You, you, you let that happen. Yeah. Uh, that, uh... There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Dan just saying, you know what? You you won that game for all intents and purposes. No point in even trying to fight the rest of this one. Absolutely not. He said, we out, man. He said, we're focused on game two. That was, uh... That was very dominant. Even though they did eventually claw in and get some stocks there, there was a point where it was just a huge lead that. Now, is that an Echo Fox that. hoodie? I mean, what, what type of hoodie is that that Mewtwo King has? I think on? That's, that, uh, that is pretty fly. What is that? That looks like the uh, the Illuminati statue thing from. Uh, oh, we Ocarina, didn't already said too much. The Ocarina of Time statues that you know you hit and they, they oh, tell yeah. you the time of day, and you, you throw a bomb at them and they uh, they fly off into the sunset. Yeah, Mewtwo King is a very interesting guy. I mean, just in terms of some of the things that he wears. Mm -hmm. When he's not wearing his eSports jersey, I mean, I I've been at some events with him, and he has, like, a cover on him, like like a cape. I'm like, dude. <laughs> yeah, he gets cold in venues pretty quick. Yeah, he does. No joke. Same here, though. So um, nobody's giving me covers. Yeah, dude, you're on your own. Yep. <laughs> you don't got no Echo Fox blanket. <laughs> Way to rub it in, brother. We were talking about Sodrix Cloud in the last set and yep. how he was so content to hold on to his limit for as long as he wanted. Yep. Um, Mute King is very much the opposite style. Yep. He likes to throw out that limit at every opportunity to do, and he uses it on like the Blade Beam a lot. And yep. Not many people expect that option. It yeah. just comes out so quick, and it can like people aren't really sure how to shield it sometimes, and it can shield poke as well. Absolutely. And be, be on the lookout for that here in this game too on Town and City where the ETC tr crew tries to get into here and force game three. You know, they started to come alive there towards the tail end of that match, so it wasn't a complete body bag. Yeah, um, they were finding some stuff. Yeah, that they were. Now, they have a little more room to work with here. Let's see how, uh, let's see how it differs. All right, Dan's going to be able to retreat to the side, down the city platform, and get past Allies Mario into the middle of the stage. But he's already got 97% on it. Yep. That percent runs up so quick when you're that this aggressive. Is, that it does. Okay, running right up on Ally. Demita's trying to apply some very strong pressure there. Oh my god, Ally with the read up of a lifetime. I think that was a miscommunication on the red team's part. Um, they really didn't know what they wanted to do when they had both players off stage. Um, they should have forced a 2v1 on one of them, but they didn't really commit to one. Yeah, you, like, you can't lose track of Mewtwo King and Doubles. I mean, we let him live with three stocks well into well over half of the last match. I mean, we got to figure out a way to, to stick it to Mewtwo King. Dan actually getting first blood here onto Ally, getting that forward smash. Mm -hmm. Excellently played. I would have liked to see a backer there from Demise actually opt for a Nair. I think he wanted to go and do a little back and forth, possibly. These rolls coming out. Oh, and the cross slash is going to miss its mark, but the bait with the up air is enough anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, oh, oh, beautiful play by Mewtwo King. Fortunate, but you know, that's the life that you live, and that's the life that you choose when you pick Fox. You can be a terror on stage, off stage, a completely different situation. And like you talked about earlier, Mewtwo King, no chump with going off stage. He likes to spend a lot of time out there. In great fade to get back on the ledge, but there he got a little greedy and gets forward smashed. Yes. And this is even that with a slight is. percent lead for red team. That it is. Chicago, stand up if you guys are watching the Twitch Back throw on the Town and City platform, not enough though. Right here, all right, Demise has got him in charge, but he's not going to be able to get out of that jab in time. The up smash lands. Yep, Juicy King trying to find himself some coverage as he throws around that, uh, that dare of his. Cloud always has some very interesting ways of, of maneuvering on stage. Sometimes we might see the, the cancels on a limit charge. Sometimes we might see the dare heavy clouds where they, they use that to kind of get back and forth. Oh, my. And that's exactly what he was looking for. Stop you saw how flying. long Mewtwo King was sitting behind Ally for. He's like, I know I can make this trade happen, and I'm at such a good percent. This is going to put him in a great position here. Maybe still out this game. Stocks flying left and right here in this double set. Very, very electrifying match. And uh, that might be getting into the red team's head a little bit. The scramble isn't really trading out in their favor. Absolutely not. Uh, but the stage control that Mewtwo King represents in the middle of the stage is enormous right now. And that wonderful pivot grab right there coming out from E2C Dan as he gets Mewtwo King off stage, but no follow up. Demise gets Mewtwo King off stage again, and Dan is choosing to pressure Mario. Yeah. And I'm not quite mad at that. No, that was a good option. Yeah. Oh, Dan, take the platform, but okay, he's living. Oh, my. Very nice. You know, that Mewtwo King possibly wanted to bait out an air dodge, use that up as quick as he could. Great positioning from Demidas, wow. they're going to seal out that Mewtwo King stock. And that's a good trade here for the E2C boys, they got a 1 versus 2 on Mewtwo King. Yes. Now this is easier said than done. Yes, you have, you have Mewtwo King in a 2v1 situation, but he has a fresh stock. And you know he's up there on those platforms, you know what he's going to do. He's going to press down special. He's going to try to avoid as much as possible. 
Uh, they're maybe challenging him a little bit too much. Make him approach. Yeah. Uh, with that limit on oh, that limit online is very scary though, so maybe they want to stop him from charging it by pressuring his platform. Plus, the Mutant King's character is all around longer than Mario and Fox. So they might have a little issue getting in. Oh, oh that was a brilliant no. read from Mewtwo King. But here comes Dan. Oh, and that nice auto cancel fair. Able to beat out the grab attempt with the jabs. Dan is uh, in trouble here. That he is. Okay, tries to go for a ledge turn. Mewtwo King not having any of it. Uses that. Oh my god. Uses the dare to try to give himself some cover as he gets back on stage. Turn around. Limit cross slash. Taking out my man. Mewtwo see Dan. And Chicago showed that they are not, no slashes at doubles, but I do not think it is any bad shake to say that they were not favored in that match. Oh, and they yeah. definitely showed their worth, though. Yeah. Ally and Mewtwo King been teaming together for quite a long time, man. Very much veterans of the game. Students of the game. Boom. They've been playing forever. Mm -hmm. Hey man, I can't I can't be mad at how that turned out. Mm -hmm. I can't be mad. Hey man, on top of that, they they I, I made me proud to wear this jersey. I mean